Hey guys, this is Last Zach NA, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, jungle recovery with Zach. And a lot of this stuff applies to uh, all champions, but some of it just applies to Zach, so I'm going to talk about uh, that stuff first. Um, I'm going to take you for the, through the first couple minutes of this game and show you uh, what went wrong and what I could have done to do better, and what I did do correctly. Um, so, as you can see, Rumble immediately invades uh, because they have a Shack on the enemy team, and so he wards the blue up. And uh, right away, I know this is happening, and I paid attention to that, so immediately what I'm thinking is, okay, well, he must have warded it for a reason, uh, and it's probably for Shaco. And then I see Shaco walk over the ward that I have in River, and I decide to just give it up. Uh, and what you need to be asking yourself um, in a case like this is, how much is my mid laner or top laner, gonna, top laner going to have to give up in order to help me out with this buff? And in this case, it would have been a lot, because... If you give uh, LeBlanc a lead early, she will take an arm and a leg from your mid laner. So it, I decided it wasn't worth it, and I just went to uh, his blue buff instead. And as long as Shaco isn't getting kills or uh, anything else, <laughs> it's uh, better that way. So I just walk over to his blue buff and take that instead. Uh, I don't mind going all the way over there instead. And uh, then I immediately get the hell out of there because I don't know where Shaco's going to be after that. He might go straight to his blue right afterwards. I don't know. I don't have any words on him. So uh, if you have vision of him, then uh, I probably would have taken his wolves as well. But I decided not to. So I almost decided to go for the kill on Shaq or on uh, LeBlanc there. I could have uh, flashed on her and got the kill, but and then I would have died afterwards and I... I don't want to give Shaco kills. So, uh, what I'm doing uh, well this game so far is I'm making sure not to give kills uh, early to uh, the the enemy Shaco that is uh, that has quite a big lead on me uh, because they've put a lot of pressure um, on mid and jungle so far. So I'm I'm deciding to give him my red buff as well. Because I know he's there, I I'm, I know he's there, uh, because he went that direction and my mid laner died. And sometimes if if your mid lane dies when you're against a really oppressive matchup, you kind of just have to give things up. And uh, I would I would see a lot of lower level players walk to their red buff like nothing's wrong, even though their mid laner is dead, and the enemy Shaco is is was mid lane last time you saw him. And that would have been a mistake if I went to red buff, because LeBlanc would have showed up and killed me, and Shaco was there as well, so I would have died. So, so far, like, by now, I would have been level 4 on my way to level 5, almost level 5 at this point. Uh, and I just put that ward there to see if Shaco's uh, crossing topside and stuff like that. Uh, and I decided to go back here because Lulu's out of mana, and I can't gank that lane while the wave is shoved so far. Up to, uh, or down her throat, I should say. So uh, when you're when you're really far behind, or when you're trying to recover from a uh, not so fun jungle experience, what you need to do is you need to make plays that you're almost certain will work. So don't make any risky plays. Um, th I mean that you don't know will like turn out at least even or if not in your favor. So like for example, right here, this is something uh, I do not so well this game. Uh, I try to call my mid laner over, but uh, he doesn't come in time, and uh, Shaco gets away, and then I sort of flash over this wall to make sure that they don't go harder for him, because I was pretty sure at least one of them still had flash uh, or ignite. So uh, that was, It sort of seemed like a weird flash, but it was just to make sure that my mid lane didn't die, which he ends up dying anyways, but that was my fault. <laughs> oh, man. So this game, uh, while it may look like uh, I'm just, like, doing bad, it's a, like it's a, it's a combination of uh, getting invaded early and them spending a lot of pressure to shut me down in the jungle. So, uh, and right about now, uh, the, our Lulu is complaining in chat about how bad I am and how awful I'm doing on, on my best champion. And uh, a lot of people won't understand uh, how much pressure they they're putting you on, putting you under in the jungle. And this is something you kind of just have to have to trust your judgment on. And now at the same time, 
uh, and I just muted her immediately. I, I don't like, uh, don't talk back to her. Don't say anything to her. I'm just sort of trying to make educated plays off of what I, what I know in the game for a fact. So right now I know for a fact that Shaco is top. So I'm trying to make a play bottom. Uh, and that's the best educated play I can make. So, uh, my Leona ends up missing the point blank <laughs> Zenith Blade, and I uh, ended up not being able to get anything off. Which is unfortunate, but I tried to make an educated play. It just didn't work out. So, uh, and it's also really important when you're uh, behind or recovering from, from a not so fun early game. Uh, to uh, look at the map and make sure you know which lanes have the opportunity to win. So right now, uh, my Ezreal is against Callista, and he's up CS, and top lane is not having a good time, and mid lane is definitely not having a good time. So I'm sort of just playing to my strengths at this point. You want to make sure you gank for people that can carry the game with you. Um, that's what jungle is about. A lot of people... Uh, that are low level think that jungle is about helping the people that are behind and to a certain extent that's true uh, but in this scenario I can't gank where Shaco is because he's stronger than me early game so if if we go two versus two me and Shaco versus the enemy top laners or me in the top laner versus Shaco in the enemy top laner we will lose because I'm not as strong as Shaco and I know that so I have to make plays around Shaco instead of uh, on top of Shaco if you know what I mean so it's really important to just make plays that you are over 70% sure will work. That's my best advice to, to you on, on Zach specifically. Um, and Zach is also a fairly resilient jungler when it comes to coming back uh, because he has the sustain to just farm it out and he also has the, the gank potential to come back and pull back through ganks. A champion that isn't so good at jungle recovery, I always point to, is like Ramus, because if Ramus gets screwed early, uh, his farming isn't that great, because if you're gonna farm, you sort of have to max W first, and if you're maxing W first, you can't really gank as well because your taunt isn't a very high level. Uh, so, oh man, poor mid lane in this game. Uh, yeah, so if you're if you're maxing W, you can't really gank because your taunt is at a very high level. So, um, yeah, it, he, he doesn't farm very well if you don't max W, and he doesn't gank very well if you don't max E. So if he gets behind early uh, and he doesn't farm very well, then he's going to be low health a lot of the time. And if you're low health a lot of the time, then you won't be able to, to do both gank and farm. And that's why Ramus just isn't so good at, at uh, jungle recovery, whereas uh, Zac is. So that's one advantage that Zac has. And this is the the last mistake I'm going to show before I uh, uh, sign off. So right here, I should have respected uh, the fact that Shaco might have been there. And I completely misplayed that. I just thought I thought he was somewhere else. I thought I had seen him go somewhere else. Uh, but I was completely wrong. So that's something I could have done better this game. Uh, was respect Shaco and, and LeBlanc a little bit more. I did a fairly good job earlier about respecting them, but as the game went on, I, I didn't do as good of a job. We end up losing this game, uh, unfortunately, but sometimes that happens if you get behind early. Uh, and I think that I still would have done relatively the same things besides that uh, play that you just saw. I would have done relatively the same thing because... Uh, Farming and making educated plays are, are really important. If you are really behind, just if if you're really in doubt, just farm it out and stay away from the enemy jungler and whoever they are um, pairing with. So if it, this time it was the mid laner. So yeah, I will see you guys next time, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.